Saitama up in the fours and 20% up on the 24 hour. My name is Mike, welcome back to the 2Bit Crypto channel. In this video, we're taking a look at Saitama and is there the Bitmark buybacks we've been waiting for. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you are subscribed for daily cryptocurrency content. Give it a thumbs up. Let's jump into this one. Okay, so Saitama is having a bit of a run today. We are seeing some significant buys back in. A lot of people speculating that these are the Bitmark purchases coming back into Saitama. So you can see a healthy amount being bought back in. We have been as high as the um, sort of high fours heading towards that kind of five range. We are seeing a little bit of sell-off. Look, 3995 right now with a couple of really big sell-offs recently. 20% up near enough on 24 hour. $12.7 million worth of trading volume. 282. We're on our way to 300,000 and $2.1 billion market cap, which is up compared to where it's been to be. So it does feel like a bit of a recovery from Saitama. I think people are starting to move back into this token, getting ready for hopefully the relaunch of Sata Mask and the staking platform that we are seeing. So we can definitely see some positive movement towards that. So why are people getting back in? Well, we've had a couple of really good announcements recently. So we got this uh, official announcement yesterday in which Saitama will be at the Crypto Expo in Dubai and also a sponsor of the leading crypto event in the Middle East. And that happens in March. That's pretty exciting. Big news. The whole Saitama setup, you know, feels a really positive move. We're going to have Wolfcaster there. I believe Lily Finance are going to be part of this as well. Obviously, we're going to have the Sata Mask up and running. So all very, very exciting news coming out of Saitama. And we also had some developments in terms of the Wolfcaster game. Now, here's the interesting thing. A lot of people are skeptical is probably the best description of the game. I think the game looks pretty basic. But look, we're seeing... Um, this kind of game from a lot of companies potentially, but look, we always uh, they always said that they wanted to do it. It was always part of the, the roadmap that we were going to sort of work on this game. It certainly feels a little bit better than the initial first release we ever saw. But look, again, some more exciting news coming out. To be fair, you know, best movement of the Grey Wolf improved. We want the action Wolfcaster 992 to be fast and fluid. There's a lot more development in terms of sprints and levels besides basic attacks. We have four battle styles with 16 moves. This feels like it's getting closer and closer and closer to be released. Obviously, the big one that we are all waiting for, 90%, technically five days, puts us on the 23rd of December. We do feel like we're going up 2%-ish on a day. So, look, we are absolutely eagerly anticipating it. The question is going to be how long this final report delivered takes. So, we had Mandox got their official certic audit completed, and the final report was delivered. And I think it was a couple of days before we saw the actual release of the SATA, uh, of the CERTIC audit. So look, pretty exciting, but look, we get ever closer to the uh, to the 100%. You can see the remediate findings. Our security experts are working closely with the project team to review and updates made to the implementation based on recommendations provided in the preliminary report. Now, again, Russ tweeted, and I quote, that they could launch the SATA mask tomorrow. So this feels like it should happen pretty quickly. I've got to be honest. This all kind of feels like it should happen quite quick. Everyone is eagerly anticipating it. So look, hopefully we are going to see that soon. And then look, let's just remind ourselves of what the roadmap and project plan looks like. So we're going to see Q3, Q4, SATA mask V1 release. We are anticipating as soon as that SATA card is completed and the SATA rewards, which we're going to see in version one. .1. So hopefully this side of Christmas, but potentially very, very early into next year. 2022, we're to payment, say to safe, say to education. We're going to launch a say to market, the say to maker, the NFT platform. Feels like it's going to be quite big NFTs and NFT platforms, say to social. And then later on, looking to develop this blockchain and real time payments. So that's when we're going to see Apple and some of the other payments coming on to the SATA mask. But look, all in all, a pretty good day for Saitama. It does feel like we are having some positive movement back into this token. And I think anyone that's still held and has held for a long, long time, it can only be positive news. Anyone who bought down at the bottom of the dip, you are also laughing your socks off to take some of your profits, which is also a good see. So let me know in the comments down below, what are you? Are you holding from day one? Have you taken profits? What's your strategy with Saitama? And I'll see you guys in the next one.